Samir Khatib, I am in business. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been prophes prophesied in 4,000 old scriptures of Hinduism, Vedas and uh, the uh, uh, Pranas. Therefore, Dr. Zakir Naik, you believe that these books are God sent, and therefore Hindus are also Ahl -e Kitab? The brother asked a very good question that since Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has prophesied in the Vedas and the other Hindu scriptures, can we consider the scripture to be the word of God? And can we call them Ahl -e Kitab? But the Ahl -e Kitab, as I mentioned in my talk, it's a word used for people of the book, specifically referring to the Jews and Christians. Ahl -e Kitab refers to Jews and Christians. Regarding your question, that can we consider Vedas or the other Hindu scriptures the word of God? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rath, chapter number 13, verse number 38, in every age have we sent a revelation, but by name only four revelations are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the wahi which was revealed to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the wahi which was revealed to Prophet David, peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi which was revealed to Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, all these revelations that were revealed, they were revealed only for those people and that time. All revelations before the Quran were revealed for those people and that time. Quran was revealed for the whole of humankind. Your question, can we consider Veda or the Hindu scripture to be the word of God? Since the Vedas are not mentioned by name in the Quran, we cannot say for sure that they were the word of God. What we can say, maybe they were the word of God. You ask me. Since Allah has sent various messengers, can we consider Ram or Lakshman as the messenger of God? See, Allah says He has sent several revelations on the face of the earth. He has sent several messengers. Since Veda is not mentioned in the Quran to be the word of God, I can say maybe the word of God. I cannot say for sure. Similarly, neither can I say that Ram or Krishna are the messengers of God. I can say maybe they were. Since they are not mentioned by name, I cannot say that for sure they were. Maybe. But even if Ram was a messenger of God, even if Krishna was a messenger of God, even if Veda was the word of God, they were meant for those people and for that time. Today, whichever part of the world you are living in, you should follow the last and final revelation that the glorious Quran and the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is even mentioned in Hindu scriptures as Antimautar.